hello students i hope all of you are doing fine and i welcome you all back onto this channel so the main agenda of this video is to tell you to answer one of the most common query among the gate aspirants what all pyqs of maths they should solve because even maths maths is like a common subject for all the branches and if you open pyqs of mathematics you will find questions from each and every branch and this piles up to a very big extent okay so let's say for example if i am from mechanical engineering then ultimately there comes a question in my mind like should I solve only ma mechanical PYQs of maths or should I solve all other uh, PYQs as well? So we are going to address that particular question in this particular video. And so basically as I have told you, this is the common confusion that all of you have. In this, the PYQs count is very huge actually. Okay, So there are many PYQs. So depending on the analysis that we have done and also like uh, if you have seen we uh, the, in the PYQ book recordings, me and Chetan so I have uh, done the book actually for the mathematics. So depending on our understanding, we figured out the most possible combinations of every branch. Like for example, if you are for mechanical, then the PYQs of mechanical, see definitely first of all your home branch you have to solve. Definitely if I am for mechanical, I should definitely solve mechanical PYQs first ultimately. Then along with that PYQs, what other branch PYQs we can do is what I am telling. So the main focus is on this particular slide in this video. So we have analyzed a lot of things and we were up with this mechanical and civil okay and in civil you don't have complex numbers so please uh, you can't find questions from complex calculus but questions from calculus and linear algebra and numerical methods these uh, kind of chapters has strong relevance between mechanical and civil if you look at the previous papers okay and in ec you can again look at the calculus part and in cs yeah i suggest you to look at linear algebra because they are very good questions linear algebra and probability and stat probability and statistics so this two chapters from cs are like gold standard like many times you'll see the complicated questions out of probability and statistics turns up in cse okay and if you are that level of preparation if you can solve the questions of cs from probability and statistics then you will be able to solve any other questions of probability and statistics in any other branch of course okay so that's the main idea and from mechanical, these are the four branches which I'd like to suggest. And from ECA, you can look at transforms, transform theory. Then after, nice questions from differential equations is what you can find here sometimes. Differential equations. This is what you can find. Okay, so transform theory and differential equations you can find. And these two has very strong relevance in the syllabus, except complex calculus, there's no variation between syllabus in these two a apart from few uh, this hypothesis testing and all in probability there's nothing difference in between these two okay then coming to civil engineering again ultimately for civil engineering you have to solve the pyqs of civil along with that because of the strong elements between them here also if you have a civil engineering questions then definitely should make it equivalence with this mechanical question so that it helps us and again the same logic which is here that holds here also because of linear algebra and probability questions being strong in cs you i suggest you to follow this pyqs for these two chapters and for transform theory and differential equations and especially for partial differential equations questions this mechanical relevance is very much important between these two okay like the solutions of diffusion equations or uh, wave equations or basically this laplace equations these kind of things there's a very good relevance between these two so you can go for civil along with mechanical papers okay now coming to ec in ec you can go for the equivalence of these two uh, electronics and electrical along with these two in mechanical in few parts of differential equations vector calculus especially there is good relevance between ec and mechanical so you can definitely go for ec along with mechanical here this mechanical you can go for vector calculus questions vector calculus and you can also go for differential equations there's no numerical methods in this okay so please don't do numerical methods differential equations so there's no numerical methods for EC and Tivoli students. So please don't spend time on doing numerical methods questions of mechanical. Okay, you don't uh, get that in exam ultimately. And coming to electrical engineering, you have electronics EC and, uh, oh sorry, I think this is a doubly. E. I have made a small error here. So this C is not there. So please take off this C. This is electrical doubly e and EC papers. Now, one thing that matches with this doubly. E, and CE is basically the questions from probability and stats. Okay, so this CE, you can go with the questions of probability and statistics, especially statistics. Okay, so especially statistics part from EC questions is very much relevant to the double part. Okay, so you can actually go for this uh, CE probability and stats questions in order to 
go with this triply okay and coming to cs this cs has a bit of less syllabus compared to the other branches in cs we only have three chapters linear algebra probability and statistics of course and uh, calculus of course okay so basic calculus so these three things you can go from cs and also ec why i am putting only ec is because you find these three things mechanical civil ec and civil mechanical ec these a three branches has relevance in the calculus questions so it's good enough to solve any one of those three branches so i've kept ec so that you can uh, even look at some integrals and all in, in a nice sense okay so cs and ec questions are good enough here so ec questions especially for calculus part for calculus part you can go with this ec questions and coming to chemical this chemical is again having some elements between mechanical and civil so i could kept mechanical in fact if you want you can go for civil the reason why i did not put civil here is in civil there is a bit of a uh, slight most of in statistics part which is not needed for chemical engineering actually so that's why i have kept mechanical here so this mechanical you can use for differential equations again differential equations when i say differential equations both ordinary and partial okay so and again questions from vector calculus can also be very helpful here okay so these are the branches which you can relevantly solve i'm repeating in a nutshell for mechanical this thing has very good strong correlates but in computer science you have very good questions from probability and statistics so that if you can solve those particular questions of probability and statistics you will be able to solve all the uh, classical questions very easily and coming to the civil of course the same uh, story holds good for ec electronics you can use this mechanical for this parts which i have written vector calculus and differential equations whereas in case of doubly this civil will be helpful for probability and statistics part because especially in statistics you have this uh, regression techniques and all so which is useful for this case and coming to computer science computer science syllabus is quite uh, a bit low okay compared to the other classical branches because it's not like it's very low because you have discrete mathematics also in it so coming to the engineering mathematics part in this computer science along with cs you can use electronics questions for the calculus part because linear algebra and probability and stat is self sufficient and self strong in cs itself that's what even i have recommended here in cs you have linear algebra plus probability and statistics very strong so for solving cs questions linear algebra and probability stats from cs itself is enough for calculus part you can take help of is anyone ec mechanical or civil but all three are very good equivalent i have kept ec and chemical engineering along with chemical you can go for the questions of mechanical which could actually help you in solving all the kinds of problems okay and pyqs are really important because every year you can check the papers out of 100 marks easily 60 plus marks will have strong elements with the pyqs i don't say exact questions come but many times exact questions do come but few times even though the exact question is not being replicated but one of its model or slight variation in the previous models will be asked okay you can ask any of your top offense even even we, when we had interviews with the toppers and all we uh, we come to know that the pyqs play a very crucial role in getting 60 plus marks in gate examination and nowadays as per the existing trend 60 plus is a very good score for you to excel in any uh, PSU or uh, IIT admissions and all the stuff okay so and I have a very good news for you all so today evening at around 7 p.m. we are going to launch this complete English batch for gate 2025 on our gatewala English channel okay so I hope you all will make the advantage and we are starting the subject with engineering mathematics I myself is going to start so I am telling you we'll start this with engineering mathematics so that you know that basically engineering math is a very uh, important subject and to understand all technical stuff you should need mathematical support so that support can be understood from uh, you can get basically from this engineering maths course so definitely feel free to attend this session at 7 pm today on our gatewala english channel and hope you'll get some good information so along with this we have more surprises okay we have many academic series that's coming up you will get to know all these details at 7 pm today on our gatewala english channel so please save that time it's 7 pm today itself on gatewala english channel and with that i would like to close this video it's a short video because i don't want to take much of your time so i hope you all have enjoyed this video and thank you all okay so we'll meet sharp at 7 pm today and we'll discuss more about the gate 2025 preparation launch thank you all